Hey guys, uh, welcome to our pre-show Q&A. Thanks for joining us tonight as we get ready to see our live performance at Rock Falcon where we've been recording our new album, The Bitter Truth. Um, man, I've got great news for you. We just mastered it. The album's done. I am so happy. I can't tell you how how happy I am, how proud I am. I'm so relieved and just can't wait for you to hear it on our release date, which we now have, which is March 26th. So we're gonna keep dropping songs until then, but um, March 26th is when you're gonna get the back half of the album. Woo! Ugh, what a year on so many levels. Um, all right, so no further ado, I've got a bunch of your questions here that um, you sent in on all the socials and I'm just gonna read through and answer as many as I can. Okay, here we go. Um, okay, our first one is from Keith Fish, and it says, what comes easier, music or lyrics? Um, music. <laughs> uh, we were just in a situation where I felt um, like we were almost at a standstill, just waiting for me to finish um, the last few lyrics. Something about you can jam and vibe out and and make sounds that sound good without having to worry about the lyrics for a long time until you get really glued to a song without having the meaning. And then there's this moment that sometimes hit if you really don't have any lyrics, which that was the case for a couple of these. Um, it's like, well, what is this about? Why does it sound this way? Because in a way, the whole song should be pointing towards a point, you know, um, a, a reason for writing it. And, um, that's a lot. That's a lot. Um, yeah. So I, I definitely, um, spend more time struggling, frustrated, caring too much, uh, about the words, um, than the music. I mean, none of it's easy. Usually sometimes a song just pops out, but, um, it all talk takes a lot of just like work. And for me, uh, perfectionism, tweaking out on tiny details. So yeah, music's a little bit easier for me. Okay, next I've got one from Slim Jim, uh, and it says, everyone focuses on the difficulties of this past year. What has been something unexpected that was really positive to come out of this difficult year that may not have been possible in normal situations? That's a great question. I love that. Um, there is so much to focus on that has been hard. It's unavoidable, but um, having to adjust our plans and having to think outside the box um, it's been really, really good for the creative process. And um, other friends that I have in uh, bands and in music have said the same thing. Um, as hard as it's been, it's just provided time like where we truly have to be home and, and the only thing to control or focus on that, that we can do is create. Um, for me, that's made for a lot of cool collaborations that I I can imagine if we were on tour and um, I was away from um, my rig and busy with all that goes into being on the road, I wouldn't have had time to do that awesome collaboration with Bring Me the Horizon, um, that work I did with um, the Wagaki Band, which was so cool, and also these live at home performances that um, we all got to do, you know, with each other that were collaborative. Um, I don't know. I I. I this has been a time for creativity in general. So the album has been like the main focus, but all these other little side things had a chance and had the time um, to come through and, and happen too. So um, yeah, the bright side is having the time for creativity. And um, we have had to work in different ways. Making the album, we had to work in different time frames with what was possible and uh, some of it remotely, um, which I think all of us have um, developed a little bit more skill with um, our engineering and um, working by ourselves when we need to. So that's always good for you. The, the better you can use your tools um, and the easier that is for you, the, the more you can write and work and create. Um, okay, what else we got? Okay, similar but not the same question from Noah. Did you feel that making an album in this pandemic moment made the creative process more difficult and valuable? I love the way you put that. Yes, more difficult and valuable. When we finally got to get together um, after the band 
had to be a part. We came into the studio um, at first, at the top of the year, before the shutdown, um, and recorded um, the first four songs, just knowing that we were only gonna do a small batch before the album was completely written or anything. Um, and then we did that and we were on such a high about it and um, getting ready to go out on tour and um, all that. We all went home and, and soon realized that we weren't gonna see each other again or get to move forward with any of it um, for who knows how long. Uh, so after a few months of working from home and just kind of like accepting the reality of like the year and the time and the moment that we were in, um, by, I, I guess it was the end of July or something, we, we finally, after months, got to create a situation where most of us, everybody except Jen, um, could be back together for a time in person. Um, we got tour buses to bring the guys from both coasts um, to here in Nashville, where I am and, and where our producer Nick Raskulnix is, which is so awesome. If I hadn't moved here, I don't know how we could have done this. I really don't. Um, it, a lot of things have felt um, really fortuitous, really f by fate, by destiny. It's like it was meant to be that that we would be here, that that I would have been in this place where um, we could continue to work like intermittently over the course of months and months and months. Um, and to be in the center place where um, our stuff is and where we could all kind of come to be. So um, anyway, all I was saying was, by the time we got back together and did everything that we needed to do to make it safe and create a bubble, everybody was locked in here for about six weeks. <sighs> we were just full of a new fire and a new energy. And what is the word you used? Valuable. Yes, it was more valuable. We really realized what it was to not be able to get together. Um, so when, at least in part, we were able to get back together and continue the process and move forward in um, our work, it seemed way more valuable. Um, and that's something, that's definitely something to come out of this year as well, is just to not take anything for granted, um, to recognize all the gifts that we really have been given that maybe we weren't um, really focusing on or appreciating very much before. Okay. <laughs> okay, from Damon Garamond. You recently have posted videos going through your old demos. Any chance we could get a new studio version of Lies? No. <laughs> um, that's a very old song, for those of you who don't know. Um, that's an early days song. But, but I have been going through all my tapes and a bunch of old material and I do think it would be cool to um, find an outlet to share some more of that old stuff because there's some really incredible audio um, that is, I've, I've finally kind of moved past um, feeling embarrassed about all of it um, and see it as like, wow, that's cool, that's weird. I was just a kid. I found this recording the other day of us like on the radio for the first time, uh, local radio, like as kids um, in Arkansas. <laughs> And like my best friend called in as a caller, it's precious, just totally precious, all of it. It's so cool to have any of it. And I'm going through the process now of like converting all those tapes to, to digital so that they don't degrade any more than they already have. So yeah, I'm not gonna share a new recording of Lies, but maybe the old one. <laughs> um, cool. All right. Um, from Deborah McRae. How has being a um, mum been? Uh, has this inspired your music more? Um, yeah. Uh, becoming a mom is one of the top biggest life events that you go through. Um, huge in my life. Opened my mind, widened my perspective um, beyond the obvious, like we did a family kids album. Um, it's back to that thing where you can appreciate more um, because like your your love grows. Um, it's hard to put it into words actually, um, but I was very inspired um, 
throughout being pregnant uh, to the next few years and, and beyond, um, I kind of thought that it was going to be a, I don't know, a time for me to shift gears and not do this so much. And instead, um, it really has propelled me towards it. Um, it made me feel like I have had more to say and more music to explore. And um, he gives me so much life.